Welcome Cancer, we are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with at this time using the Avalon Magic cards, the Wild Child Oracle cards and also this deck of cards, these tarot cards that I don't know the name of I was given them and um, years ago and there was a book about tarot and it was the name of the book but I don't think the name of the actual deck was there or at least I don't remember it anyhow. So yeah, those cards. Anyway, Cancer, let's get into it. Okay, so let's have a look here, Cancer. Three cards for Cancer, please. Three cards for Cancer. One card. Just turn that that way. Okay. Oh, there you go. Just like that. Just like that that okay cancer we have this card here there is writing at the back which i will read to you but i just want to see what i get from the cards first first of all there's something about this third eye oh also i'm noticing her earrings look like the sun um and there's this energy from the heart here so something about tapping into your heart maybe to lead the way um but the third eye also being symbolic of that of seeing this Things from a higher perspective, maybe. Um, shedding the light on things. Um, yeah, I'll read the back of the card, which is not always necessarily what I get from the front. So I just like that there's more messages um, if they're not um, actually matching up. Okay, so this says, Allow the true love of your soul to radiate, and you, sh you shall see the natural beauty around you expand. Oh, I like that. I like that. We've got two other cards here, but I just want to see um, what this one brings out first. Okay, so let's have a look with the Wild Child Oracle cards. Okay, two cards for that card for Cancer, please. There's no name of the card. So allow your true love of your soul to radiate. And you shall see the natural beauty around you expand. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so one more card for that. One of them did fall out, but it just kind of slipped out. It wasn't really a scent. It wasn't like that. But that's two cards, so I actually just want one. <laughs> okay, so one more card for this card for Cancer, please. Rhetoric. Interesting. Okay, so Desolate. This is the first card here, Cancer. So, can you, do you know what I feel like here? Is that when you allow the true love of your soul to radiate, it's not just about seeing the beauty, it's creating beauty. Um, but also, you, could, you know, you could have this desert and it, you could think there's no beauty in that because it's just boring. But there is beauty to be seen there. So for some of you, it may feel like there's parts of your life that are a bit meh. And I feel like a change of perspective is needed. Okay. Um, tell me more about desolate for cancer, please. Oh, look, here we are with the talent. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen my talent yet, Cancer. It happens, but I can never remember which signs it happens with. <laughs> it always, like, cracks me up how the cards land like that on my arm. And now that's, oh, I caught it. I caught it with me leg. All righty, so desolate. What's the first card here? The Hermit. Wow. Wow. Whoa, this is sort of very similar to this tree in here. Look at this, and the hermit card, and look at this. It's like this is the tree in bloom. So maybe you need some time to yourself. Um, but the hermit here lights the way, and he lights the way. He this in this card, he has a lantern. But um, you know, the thing I always get from the Hermit card is that there's this internal light that lights the way for the Hermit. And I feel like this is this 
message just reiterating this for you here cancer to allow the love the true love of your soul to radiate so that you can shine light on what is around you okay because that's going to bring through the beauty but it's also going to help lead the way for you it's going to help light the path uh, not just for you but for others who follow behind you um, so this is generations yet to come will actually be able to follow in your footsteps in a sense oh, which I don't know if I really like that saying because that it, it, so long as it's that's their path let's put it that way right um, follow in your footsteps in the sense of you showing them how to light their own way you know not necessarily walking your path um, unless you know that's the path they want to walk or it is distant for them but we all I feel have our own paths to walk could be similar to the next person's but ultimately it's our path so yeah um, anyway what's this next card here the temperance wow this is pretty like freaking huge um, the temperance here see this is balance here I'm bringing things into balance here okay um this is everything in moderation this is this is patience this is also about your purpose too so maybe this is you discovering what that is this is you blending energies um here what i find interesting too is the hermit is at night here and the temperance is during the day so this is about this balance okay um yeah um, we've got reverie here, but I feel like, do you know what I feel like after this desolate um, card coming up here? I feel like this is magical. This is the magical side of life and what, you know, it's kind of like reminds me of the cow jumped over the moon, but it's actually a deer. <laughs> um, but, you know, this is kind of imagining how, um, it, this is this is this expansion, I feel like, you know, seeing the beauty around you and things that you can't really see you know, and using your imagination to create that, okay, um, yeah, I feel like this is taking a different, not a different perspective, but just seeing things outside the box, you know, um, yeah, I'm getting dimensionally, dimensionally as well, so that's, yeah, that's interesting that that's come up, there's, yeah, one more card for Reverie. Okay, so we've got the Five of Hearts here. Okay, and we've also got the Seven of Swords here. I feel like this is this is sort of focusing on um No, that's the wrong message. It's not focusing on things that haven't worked out. It's actually seeing the magic in the things that haven't worked out. Um, seeing how that has led you to where you are today. Uh, seeing the positive side of things. Um, and that's not to go into denial about anything. But um, it really is um, seeing things through the eyes of love. I suppose um, and with the seven of swords here I feel like this is this is kind of like this um, not taking on uh, um, outside influences as far as well put it this way what I'm seeing here is people hurling their words at you as though that's gospel and well, not gospel but what you should and shouldn't do or what you should think about a situation and what you shouldn't and I don't really feel like um, that's something you need to take on board um I feel like there, though, that there is a need um, or it's important for you to see the 
the magic in your ability to dodge those opinions of others. Because this person here is like seeing things coming and they're dodging it. They're able to dodge it as it comes hurling towards them. And I feel like those swords are representative of other people's words and opinions. And um, yeah. Yeah. And also, you know, when you're radiating that true love of your soul, those can't pierce through that um, because that love is so, um, well, it redirects those things because it's powerful enough to do that. Okay. So, yeah, we've got these two dragons here having a little dance <laughs> in the sky. Um, I kind of feel like this is a blending of energies in a sense. Maybe a little bit like the temperance card of this blending of energies. Um, yeah. Oh, but this says here, do not look for validation in others. Yeah, totes. Be uniquely you and follow your own path. So some of you may, this, this may be about this validation from others. And even the five of hearts may be about that. Um, Yeah, let's look further into this though. Two cards for this card for cats. Well, 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 well. We've got two cards jump out here first. Um, yep, okay. So go with the flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flow. Yeah, flow. Um what I want to say about this cancer is that the flow of the stream, um, well the river here, there's this big waterfall, right? Um, and the, sometimes it can be hard to go with the flow for some people because they're afraid. They're afraid of what may come because on a river there's rapids and um, there are waterfalls with really big falls, some of them. And um, this could be this fear of the fall. This could be what other people are warning you of. Don't do that because what if you fall? Or if you go down the river and there's a massive waterfall and you fall down the waterfall and drown. Um, the thing is that when you go with the flow of your life, it's unlikely you're going to drown. It's when you're swimming against the rapids that you become so exhausted that when the rapids finally take you to the waterfall, you have no energy left to come up from the um, descent of the waterfall, right? So this is where it's important for you to be very aware of what you're putting your energy into and... Um, how that's depleting you. Okay, so I actually need to tell the cards what I want. I'm trying to get into this habit. Flow. <laughs> Two cards for cancer for flow, please. We've got the Empress. Is there two cards there? Excellent. See, just like that. Okay, so the Empress. That's what happens when you ask for what you want. Um, Empress, yeah, see, this is this birthing of this, um, of this world, of this world that you want to be part of, okay? The Empress in this card is floating above the world because she's, um, you know, rising above to see what, what does it need, what's missing, what is what needs to be created here, okay? Um, and she's doing so with ease. She's not stressing about it. She's not, um, you know, wearing herself out with it because she's Empress, you know? She, she, she knows all about how to balance herself out and how to, you know, take the time to... She knows when to rise above and have a look at, over things and she knows when to come down to earth and ground, okay? Um, so, yeah, so... She's not looking at the things that didn't work, right? She's not looking at, um, oh, you know, that, that um, you know, the, this plantation over here didn't work out how it needed to. She's not focusing on that. Oh, remember when that plantation was there 10 years ago and it didn't work? No, she's learned. She's learned what the soil needed. She's learned how to nurture that plantation and she's done something differently with it. 
okay she hasn't done the same thing that she's always done and expected it to thrive she's learned from her mistakes and not really mistakes because they weren't mistakes they were lessons they taught her they were teachings okay she's learned from her teachings we should probably replace mistakes because it's a mistake it's like take one okay didn't quite work take two right she's learned from these teachings and done it differently and this is a really important um, lesson for you okay we have idleness and so this is taking the time to do this i love this look at the the tortoise here samir's looking quite happy the bird's on his back because he's not moving very fast obviously but he's strutting along quite nicely here you know and um he's stopping where he needs to he's taking his time to build what it is that he needs to build to get to his natural habitat you know he's in and out of the the pond and um he's embracing this natural state of being and um and i feel like this natural state of being right is this true love for you okay which is probably the same for all of us here so cancer give me two cards for idleness for cancer please two cards for idleness for cancer it's upside down one more card for idleness for cancer are we meant to look at this first card first no we're not okay sweet okay so the king of swords the king of swords this is um i like this because the king of swords is standing still he's not going anywhere he's not he hasn't got a shield up he's leaning on a shield he's using a shield to have a bit of a rest okay he's not fighting the good fight because it's already been fought he doesn't need to fight it anymore um he's sort of observing i feel observing hmm. this is what i've this is my truth hmm. pretty happy with that right um the king of swords he knows how to communicate Okay, he can be a bit harsh sometimes with his communication, so I do want to just say be mindful of that. Okay, but um, he communicates clearly and concisely as to what he wants, what he needs, and there's no doubt about that. Okay, um, I want to say with this coming up on the idleness card is make sure there's not a break in communication so there could be someone that maybe has been popping into your mind to contact um, that you may need to get in touch with for some reason for some of you that's coming up but i'm just leaving a look here do not look for validation in others be uniquely you and follow your own path here yeah exactly the king of swords he don't care what anyone else thinks he's going to do what he needs to do what he knows within his soul is truly for him okay he's not going to um and i love to because this is sitting under directly under the empress so yeah this is this is quite a powerful truth um that you are creating here of your own life okay um the other thing that did pop up that i keep kind of getting i keep getting thrown from saying this so i feel like it's a bit of a distraction so be aware of that there could be something that you need to communicate that you keep getting distracted from or you go to say it and then you're like oh i don't think i need to um but i feel like you need to okay and also because i feel like otherwise wires may get crossed yep so communication is key right now okay but not taking on board um or not looking for other people's opinions and whether that's the right thing for not or not for you because only you can answer that question for yourself okay cancer um we also have the two of pentacles here so this is about you balancing um things out there's 
there's two snakes here and I'm not sure why they're here. But I, they, I'm getting drawn to them. Reminds me of snakes and ladders actually. For some reason. What is this about? I feel like I want to clarify this. Two of Pentacles. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles for Cancer in this placement of the reading, please. Two of Pentacles. What is this about? Okay, we've got three cards here. Okay, okay. So I feel like... Um, there's been something that you've been working towards and you, um, you've you been working really hard on it and you're kind of like just tossing up whether it's worth it or not, okay? Um, and or whether to start again because we've got the full here um, and this is, this is a decision that you're trying to make, okay? Um, the, the King of Wands is also here. So whatever it is that you're working towards, I want to say that um, just make sure that you're, you know, whatever it is you were, were, were working towards, <laughs> um, I, I, I want to say to reflect back as to why you started it to begin with, okay? And see if, um, if you do actually want to give it away and start again. But um, either way, whatever choice you do make, it's it's a leap of faith that you need to take. So making that choice, I feel like, is important um, because you need to be sure about that leap, okay? So that you kind of don't go back and go, mm, should I have done that, okay? So yeah, well, yeah when you make that decision, um, move forward with confidence is what I want to say there, okay? So, right, the last card here. See, I feel like this is sort of like the magician card here um, where she's she's conjuring up or not conjuring up, like, I don't know, it reminds me of making potions here of someone, um, you know, in, like a witch in the cauldron and she's making a, a potion here um, to be used for good, of course. Anyway, let's have a look at what it says. It's easy to love and accept the light side of yourself. It takes courage to acknowledge and love the darker side. 100%. That's what these two are doing. Shadow, light self and the shadow self, right? Everything in balance, yeah? Um, so, yeah, looking at the darker side of yourself and seeing and loving yourself anyway. You know, regardless of what that is, loving yourself anyway can be hard, harder to do than it sounds. You think about those things that you really, if you were today to tell people about yourself and these things that you don't want them to know, those are the things that you need to really address and um, look at, do, um, you know, and this could be not about yourself necessarily, but in your life. Those are the parts of yourself or your life that you need to love the most. Okay, so two cards for this card here. It is easy to love and accept the light side of yourself. It takes courage to, courage to acknowledge and love the darker side. So cool, because I did get that message with the dragon card here, but I'm so glad I didn't bring it up because it was going to come up here anyway. So that was quite cool. Or did I? I don't think I did. If I did it, it was only fleetingly. Anyway. Reach. <laughs> Two cards. I only want one. One more for this card for Cancer, please. We've got Reach already and we've got Labyrinth. Okay, Cancer. So, with Reach. Yeah, Reach for the Light. Um... This is also bringing the um, the shadow into the light, okay, to be to be nurtured. You know, the the parts of the tree that haven't um, sprouted because the sun hasn't got to them, the light hasn't got to them. There are parts of yourself that haven't um, that haven't grown because you've kept them hidden 
and this could even be hidden gifts and hidden talents as well so i feel like this is about you looking into those shadows because as you clear out those shadows and there's always going to be a shadow self that we need to deal with that's okay but right now, as you reach into those shadows and pull out these things that you um, are not proud of or that you don't like about yourself or your life, you are going to um, also reveal hidden desires, hidden talents, hidden abilities. Um, and yeah, you're going to release yourself from things. You're going to release yourself from the things, the burden that you've been carrying. Okay, uh, you're gonna you're gonna be able to pull them out of the shadows, so to speak. Okay, and the thing is, I want to say that you don't have to do that alone. Don't feel like you have to to bear the weight alone. All right. Um, I know that you probably want to because they're in the shadows for a reason. But um, know that the right people around you aren't gonna judge you, and they're gonna help you carry that weight. Okay. And then we have the Ace of Hearts, and this is a brand new beginning in love, a brand new beginning in love with yourself. Okay, and this is absolutely gorgeous. Once you put that burden down and accept you, all of you, new love can come in. Okay, you then allow the true love of your soul to radiate. Right? Love it. Okay, we have labyrinth as well. Um, and this is the maze of life. I feel like this is the maze of life. You know, around every corner, we don't know what's coming. Um, we don't know where it is, um, you know, where it's going to lead. Yeah, I don't know what else this is saying in relation to this card, though. So let's find out. Labyrinth. Sorry. Two cards for Labyrinth. For Cancer, please. This could be old heartbreaks even, especially with the Ace of Hearts coming up. Old heartbreaks, old hurts that you haven't wanted to look at because it was too painful that may need to be addressed. Just popped in my mind. We've got the Ace of Wands. I love it. This is such a new beginning for you. Oh, we've got two more cards here, but let's start with the Ace of Wands. This is something passionate, man, because look, we've got the Ace of Hearts and the Ace of Wands, right? This is from the heart of hearts, man. This is like, whoa, I love this. And this could be a new passion that you start, you know, uh, a new interest, um, a new hobby, a new career. Um, well, maybe not career, but yeah, career. Because, you know, you can do things that you're passionate about. But a new love, a new love in your life, yeah. Um, and we have the two of wands. Okay, so this is after the ace of wands. Now this is you deciding which direction you want to go in. Okay, um, and choosing a path. Okay, and we have the lovers. <laughs> Seriously, Cancer, the lovers. But again, this could be you falling in love with yourself, you know, and it could be a new relationship. But if you're in, a, in an existing relationship, this could be reigniting the passion within that relationship you know going back to when you fell in love what was it you fell in love with and actually you know kind of like finding a new path as a couple um so yeah so that's pretty cool but um yeah i do feel like um this is potentially with the lovers here this could be representing the light and the dark side of yourself and bringing those together and having them um you know as a couple be loved you know so yeah so that's pretty cool anyway cancer i will leave that with you that was an interesting one and um yeah i really enjoyed that so thank you for sharing your energy with me take care of your beautiful selves See you. Bye-bye.